Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday, June 29th. Um, this will be your full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube. Um, today is the last day to enter the drawing. First place winner is the 20 minute reading. Second, the Tasha's Divine Guidance deck. Third place is the Selenite bracelet. Um, so today is the last day. The drawing will be tomorrow. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I am running a special the first week of July for 20% off the 20 minute readings. So I woke up this morning and uh, to the alerts that someone is responding to you guys in your comments uh, from a fake account saying telegram me. You guys know that I don't have telegram. You could obviously see it's a fake account. Um, it's funny, but it's not. <laughs> I don't know what these low vibrational energies think. They think God doesn't protect my channel. God doesn't seek vengeance for anything that's done against me. They are playing with fire. So just be mindful of any responses that are attached to fake accounts. You guys know I don't have Telegram. So, all right, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. So now I understand why, because I, I pulled cards after this happened this morning, <clears throat> and I understand now why these cards came out. You're in this energy of being in a space of love and gratitude. If you guys are under spiritual attack, this message is for you, okay? You are living in a space of love and gratitude. Divine timing is at play. Divine timing is at play for these karmic energies, these low vibrational karmic energies. What you do will continue on. Just like for me, anyone that is spiritually trying to come at me, you're not going to prevent me from talking. You're not going to prevent me from posting. In fact, you inspire me to do it even more and more and more. So it's backfiring on you. You're going to, it's going to go the distance. The work that you put in is going to go the distance. You're not going to be stopped or blocked by low vibrational energies. All that glitters, these are fake people. They're going to be made accountable. Divine timing is at play for these karmic energies. You continue to live by the book. Living according to universal law, which you put out, you get back. Do not seek vengeance. God is taking care of it. All you need to do is rest and rejuvenate. Because like I said, the angels and saints, God himself is taking care of these energies. They're going to be rejected or abandoned. And your spirit guides, your spirit team and the angels, they are putting in the work to take care of this. Okay? So we're going to clarify these cards. So if you're under spiritual attack, don't... You know what? It's 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 all fake. It's an illusion. It's just an illusion that they try to cast to instill fear in you. Fear's from the devil. So fear isn't even real. Okay. Please clarify here and now. The wheel of fate and destiny. Because you live in a space of love and gratitude, the wheel of fate and destiny is turning in your favor. Okay. Please clarify TikTok. Divine timing. Card number 30 reduces to a three. <laughs> yeah it's only a matter of time for you as the high priestess um putting in all this work to toward your destined path your mission your divine mission it's only a matter of time before balance is restored for you okay tiktok anything else for tiktok yeah and whoever's playing around in your energy they're going to be heavily burdened it's coming they're going to reap what they've sown. It is coming. This is low vibrational player energy that's going to be heavily burdened for playing in your energy. Okay. Never ending story. Please clarify. Never ending story. Woo. Yep. There's the devil. Huh. Yep. Ugh. This karmic. Now it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or someone that's very cold and detached. They are attached to the devil. This is someone from your past. This is the karmic that's meddling in your energy. Go the distance. Please clarify. Go the distance. Go the distance. Wow. Look at this, you guys. With Go the distance. This is you. This is you pushing forward no matter what anyone throws at you. What's going to go the distance? What's going to be long term? Your complete emotional fulfillment. Your passionate new beginnings. And your generational wealth. That's what's going to go the distance. All right. Let's clarify all that glitters. All that glitters. <laughs> These fake people wearing a mask, trying to bring drama and stress. 
you're going to have victory, public recognition. With the Six of Wands to the world, this can be on the news. Somebody could be on the news for what they've done. But the cycle's closed. This person's going down. I mean, that's just what I keep hearing. They're going down. You're speaking your truth and you're not going to stop speaking your truth. No matter what they throw at you, you're not going to stop speaking your truth. It's a group of people. It's more than one. More than one. See? Three of Pentacles sideways. It's a group of people. Yeah. You might get communication about this. these karmics losing everything. With the Knight of Swords to the Four Pentacles reverse, losing. Losing everything. Okay. Please clarify by the book. By the book. Wow. So you got somebody in your energy um, that this masculine that's false, they see you as the star. They know you carry the light of God. They know that you are in a high vibration. You're a light worker. They're stuck. You know, the nine of swords reverse to me is like, it's magnified. The anguish, the stress, the nightmares, being haunted. This is like to the max. With the nine of swords reverse, this person is like wrecked mentally. They're going through heartbreak. This is a false emperor that fell from God's grace. So let me see what else comes out by the book, by the book. Yeah. They say you're having wishes come true that, that you are planting good seeds. You are manifesting it. You are healed. This person is going through a tower or they will soon go through a tower. Complete and utter destruction. And this keeps coming out. You may hear about it. You may get a message about what this person is going through. That's too many. Let me just get one more on this. Yeah, they're trying to have strength. They could be a Leo. Heavy in regret because truths are coming to light. Exposure. Okay, time for a nap. Time for a nap. Woo. Yeah. They're saying this emotional manipulator, King of Cups in Reverse, is being brought down. You stay to yourself with the Hermit energy going within for answers. Um, you are a fighter. You keep fighting for what's right for you as the Empress, high vibrational, loving, nurturing. Um, you've gone through all the lessons of all the queens, and now you are in this elevated energy. You are in a spiritual alignment, and you have uh, heavy spiritual protection. Heavy spiritual protection. Okay. Okay. Orphan. Please clarify orphan. Please clarify orphan. Wow. Yep. This person that's meddling your energy, and I do think it's more than one, at least three, made a bad investment. They've lost their connection with the divine. There's no divine protection. They're blocked. They will be left out in the cold because of what they've done to an earth angel. They're going to lose everything. This is financial ruin. This is being left utterly alone with no one due to their own actions. Orphan, please. Yeah, they wouldn't stop. They continue spying and slandering over and over and over again, and they would not stop. And they did it against the Queen of Pentacles, someone that's very grounded, stable, and financially secure. Somebody that's very nurturing and loving energy. Yeah, you may get communication. You're coming out as this pre-empress, nine of pentacles, lady or man of luxury. You're very grounded, stable, and you are very protected by God. You may get a message about this. What is this message? What is this message, please? What is this message? Oh, well, you're in your power. You're passionate. You're going after what it is that you desire, what you want, what you're inspired to create. And this message could be about illusions that someone tried to cast, but spiritual realm is moving you away from it. You're not deceived and yeah, you've already made your decision. You will only accept equal give and take and you have divine protection. Okay. Wow. 
Let me get to see if there's anything else that we need to know. Brand new beginning, new doors opening up for you. In the Queen of Cups energy, you're very loving. You operate from love energy. And whoever this love bomber gaslighter is that keeps secrets and lies, they're stopped, they're blocked. They'll have no victory. None. So let them keep coming after you. It doesn't matter. They're only hurting themselves. They're destroying their own life by continuing to sly. Oh, sly. They are sly. To spy or slander. That makes no impact on you at all. Let me see what else needs to come out, guys. Yeah, this person's going to find out. These people, the hard way. You don't mess with people that work in God's light. You just don't. You're going to, you're just destroying your whole life. Okay. It's a touch of me to know. Yeah, black magic spell work. Meddling in your energy. They're either paying for someone to do it, or they are trying to do it themselves. <laughs> they want you to continue to talk to your spirit guides. You already know. You receive downloads and messages. You know what's going on. And you know that there's no power greater than God. You can try all the black magic you want. There's no power greater than God. Yeah. Continue to take spiritual baths. Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. Someone asked me what you what I do for spiritual protection. Spiritual bath is a handful of white Epsom salt in a warm bath. Light a white candle. Set the intention of releasing all negative energy within you or outside of you. I also use frankincense and myrrh incense sticks. I cleanse my house, my body. Um, Palo Santo, you can get that on Amazon too, and um, Sage. Do it every day. Anytime that you have an interaction with someone, you are always going to say, I give back so-and-so's energy and I take back any energy of mine that I gave to so-and-so. So you are giving them back your energy and you're taking back your energy. Empaths, we hold on to other people's trauma. So you have to send it back to them. Then cleanse your energy. Okay? Yeah. You got a toxic friends here. Toxic group of people who, who did something illegal. They didn't read the fine print and they did something very illegal. This is the same energy uh, that are trying to cause disruption for you. But you're protected by your ancestors. So God doesn't want you to worry. There's nothing for you to worry about. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius uh, involved. A new opportunity is headed your way and you have the protection of St. Michael. Good luck defeating him. If he can change Satan in hell, um, sorry, but you're not going to be able to get through that barrier. Yeah, let go of past pain, anger, bitterness, or resentment. Because God is going to bring justice, divine justice, universal law. For all these people with these addictions, all these low vibrational energies, sleeping with the enemy, a karmic feminine attached to your past person. Flip or switch the roles. You have a new job or career. You are currently manifesting the life that you desire. And that's what God wants you to stay focused on. Okay? Yeah. Whoever these people are, they work in the same toxic environment. They have toxic friends, toxic work environment. You could be relocating. You're very spiritually gifted. Um, you listen to your intuition. You rely on your intuition. You receive messages through dreams or visions or downloads. Woo! This flu. Yeah, see, this karmic couple keeps coming out. The masculine or the feminine, take it how it resonates, wants to reconcile. So the other counterpart is obsessed with trying to take you down. I mean, that's, get over it. They're immoral. They have no integrity. Either one of them. You could be taking a trip, taking a break in the near future. Whoever's involved, someone's going to lose their job. But this keeps coming out. They're going to lose their job. Karmic third party involved. It could be the karmic or it could be the masculine. They're both karmics. Yeah, continue to get more connected. Tapped in. Karmic family members are also involved. This can be for you or them. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This can be you or someone else. God's judgment. God's wrath. Told you. It's coming. And it's happening quick in the near future. 
for a gold digger that's being exposed. Trying to take down a light worker. But you've been releasing karmic debt this entire time. So it hasn't gone for nothing. You have a divine masculine or feminine coming in, divine partner. Um, yeah, this is a narcissist, narcissistic couple. You have happiness and joy, emotional fulfillment, as well as abundance, financial stability, and blessings, which is awesome. All right, guys, let's see. I'm going to pull from the situation deck since the couple keeps coming out. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's pull from the situation deck since they want airtime. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My allergies are acting up. All right. What do we need to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. What do we need to know? Yeah. This person that you were attached to. They're very crushed. They're sad, broken, feeling alone. They're on the verge of confessing. But they know you have the proof of what they've done. Yeah, now they have this love for you, obsession, and so does the third party karmic. They can't stop talking, gossiping. Yeah. This masculine energy that sh that's a divine masculine that fell from grace now is realizing they have this unconditional love for you. They may be writing messages and deleting them. Yeah, surviving daily hustle. Feeling like they're on a hamster wheel. You have this magnetic attraction and you are in this happiness energy. This person views you as happiness, their happiness. But you're protected by St. Michael because St. Michael knows who this energy is and what their intentions are. St. Michael's not going to let this person get near you. Yeah, they want to chase you. St. Michael's in the middle saying, nope, no, you won't. No, you won't. Yeah, this person feels like you, you cut them off drastically. They're still not accountable. They may be seeing signs, but you're already, you're moving on. You may be physically moving. You're moving on and this person is gonna have legal issues. They're trapped. They're trapped with a karmic partner due to money, pregnancy, or heartstrings. Somebody getting, trying to play the, uh, on their sympathy. Both of these energies are creating fake profiles uh, to watch you. Yeah, Hi. this is a roller coaster. Highest high and adrenaline rush. I feel like this person doesn't feel like it's so happy anymore. It's not so exciting anymore because now they want to come in and give you a proposal. Future days, weeks, or months. They've been pretending, fake, living beyond their means. Because this person's identity is contingent upon what they have. They're so materialistic. They don't love themselves, so they have to identify their worth with money. There could be children involved. Somebody wants to come with it, come to some agreement with you, but you know about their dirty little secret, their love affairs. You know that this person's not loyal. You got nothing to give this person. Yeah, and they're in a middle prison, completely trapped. They've trapped themselves. Yeah, they keep up their soulmate. To go to a karmic past happened all i can do is remember the past they're haunted tormented and they have desire for you yep you could have a family with this person there's no uh, silence no action taken right now because this person's trapped and they know they're toxic you're just cleansing your energy. You're removing this energy from your life. Yeah, they got a drama queen that won't let them go. And they are stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Yeah, 
they're stuck because of financial support. They're depending on this energy to support them. Yeah. Divine timing is at play. This person could be hoping, wishing, praying you would return. But there's too many people involved and you're done. You don't, you're not going to lower your standard for something like this. We got the present moment. Eyes for you. This person is constantly spying. Spying on you. You already took the trash out. You already know. You're done. Time's up. Now this person tries to telepathically communicate. Make sure you protect your energy at night. Let St. Michael know you do not give permission for any lower vibrational energies to enter your energetic field during the day or at night while you sleep. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. All right, guys, this is the reading I have for you. Sorry, it's a karmic reading, but I knew it was going to come out after I woke up to that mess. But it's okay. I mean, they're not hurting us. Like I said, we're transmuting negative energy and it becomes a blessing for us. We just get blessed. So don't let it bother you. Obviously, you're somebody really special if it takes a group of people to come after you. So just remember that. You are... Definitely recognized even by your enemies as being someone that's very special because they have to get in a group to try to come against you. But what they don't realize is they're not coming against a single soul. They're coming against an army of God. Good luck defeating God. Good luck with that. All right, guys. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.